Snowbird Resort can whisk you up to 11,000 feet in a new and improved aerial tram. The specialist Jed Bull takes us for a ride. Near the end of the ski season, Snowbird took down its iconic red and blue aerial trams that had taken skiers, snowboarders, and summer sightseers to the top of the mountain for more than 50 years. Well, one of the new trams is up and running now. It's really exciting to see them actually functioning. After two years of planning, Snowbird's blue tram is carrying people to the top of Hidden Peak. Just wanted to get out of the heat and bring the grandkids up to ride the new tram. Robert Bringhurst has enjoyed Snowbird with his family for years and is impressed with the new tram. I think it's fantastic. The views out of the scene, the windows are great. You can see a lot more. And they liked it. The views out of the new trams are spectacular. The windows stretch from nearly the floor all the way to the ceiling. And check this out. There are even windows in the floor of the tram. It's just a really exciting way to kind of experience the mountain as you ride up. The new trams are about the same size as the old ones with a new futuristic shape. The new rhombus shape just looks much more futuristic. And um, as we embark on our next 50 years, uh, that cabin will really take us there. Snowbird is awaiting a new red cabin, which was damaged during installation and will be installed before ski season. Next summer, both cabins will have balconies on top. There'll be an internal staircase and the balcony will carry about 11 to 16 people, depending. Be first in line to do it. I think that would be fantastic. An all-day activity pass covers as many tram rides as you want and all activities at the base. That's $43 for kids and $58 for adults. If you just want to take the tram to the top and back, that's $28 for kids and $35 for adults. Our average temperature up here is about 20 degrees cooler than the valley. In the upper basins, people are enjoying the cooler air, the hiking, and also the wildflowers, which seem to be peaking right about now. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl.